This is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. With a super quick little job today. Customer brought in this hand wheel. Uh, he It's going on a drill press, I think he said. It might have been a mill. They had a plastic wheel, so he picked this one up off eBay. And he needs just a uh, slot cut in it. So we're going to broach it. We'll probably take that handle off. Now, he has a lathe. And I talked to him and told him ways he could broach it himself. Because it's a super easy thing to do. I don't like to to spend people's money if I don't have to. Because, you know, he seemed like a nice old guy. But no, I just want it done. So I did all my measuring. So my brooch plus one sh shim will work to the measurement he gave me. I do not have the corresponding shaft. He said it was pretty shallow. There's a uh, wood roof key in it. So, I don't know if I ever showed you this. One of the reasons I'm doing, showing you this video. This is the machine I do all my broaching on. My, I got this from my uncle. They used to sell this at Harbor Freight. And it uh, comes with two different length uh, collars that, that thread up here. And then what I did to make it more of a dedicated broaching machine, I set it up on this cart. I cut a hole through it, which I keep usually just a cardboard box underneath to keep to capture all the uh, oil and chips and the brooch will hit that and stay in the box and not break. But this thing has been super handy. I've never seen it for sale there, so I don't know when he got it. I did a video mounting this to this cart when I got it. I use it mostly for broaching, but it has come in handy for tons and tons of jobs. So if you ever come across one of these, especially because look how, look how small the footprint is on it. For what you can do. I don't know what it's rated at, but I've never needed more power for the stuff I've done on this job. Okay, so let me get a we'll get our plate set up and our thing, our shaft in there. I'll get you on the tripod and we'll knock this out real quick. I'll bring you back. Okay. So I have the short snout in here. I got my one of my push bars. Made a couple of these for it. What I actually like to do one day when I have the time, and remember, here are the two bars that come with it. I'd like to uh, make like two in between these. And all it is is a piece of tubing that's threaded on both ends. So that should be fairly easy. Okay. So should be lined up, put a little oil on the guy here, make sure we're locked, sorry the camera is a little far out, this is the extreme corner of my shop. So. go we are broaching we'll push that down now yes I do have the hundred ton press but on a uh, broach of this size I do not like using the hundred ton press uh, the adjuster works Except on the low end, and you know, press that big doesn't really have any feel, if you know what I'm talking about. So, it either pushes it through or it grenades in your face. So, now on this one, I'm just going to reach underneath. First cut, we will, sorry, brush off the chips. 
Insert the spacer. Just fell into the chip box as it often does. We have retrieved said spacer. It again. Let's retract our arm here. Sorry, I'm going to lean across you here for a second. There we go. Back in the cut. Step all the way. And I'm going to need one of my other push bars here. So hold on a second, let me go grab it. Okay, another push bar. It was over on the hydraulic press. Some oil on you. Zoom me in a bit if you want to see the nonstop broaching action. I'm sure you're seeing my arm in the way. It helps to tighten the valve on the press. Oh, that one bit. There we go. Drive her home. Okay, I'll bring you back when we're done. Okay, there we go. Wipe some of the oil and shavings off you. Still some shavings that I clean out in there. Very quick job. It took me longer to set up the camera and stuff than it did for me to do this job. So yeah, there she be. One more project out the door. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.